Welcome to the Goal Zero Toolbox Talk Series. Today's Toolbox Talk. Wind Energy Hazards 2. With the rapid growth of wind turbines as a clean source of power throughout the world, thousands of people are being employed to install and maintain these giant electricity generators. While these are often great jobs, they can also be quite dangerous, which is why all companies in this industry need to take a close look at wind turbine safety. Confined Spaces When talking about wind turbine safety, most people don't even consider confined spaces as being a hazard. There are four areas in wind turbines where workers go where they can be in a confined space. They are Tower The vertical tower of the turbine is quite large, but it is also confined due to limited access slash egress and the difficulty of rescue. If an employee needs to go into this area to complete a repair or perform an installation step, they can become trapped or otherwise injured. Nacelle. This is the part of the turbine that houses the actual electrical components. Workers often must go into troubleshoot issues, and they can become stuck or even electrocuted. In the event of a fire, the smoke can cause respiratory issues for workers in this area. Hub. The part that attaches to the nacelle and is also a confined area where employees can become trapped during work activities. Blades. The blades attach to the hub, and workers may need to enter this confined space area to work on the blades. Whether during the initial construction of the wind turbine or when working on maintaining them, these confined spaces can be a real hazard. Signage should be used as an administrative control to warn people of specific hazards. Fires. A fire could start due to the electrical parts overloading, the turbine getting hit by lightning, or even due to friction if the rotating blades are not properly lubricated. If an employee is working on a turbine when fire catches, it could be very difficult for them to escape. When working on or near any wind turbine, fire safety should always be a priority. Providing the workers with a quick descent device should be done whenever possible. Chemical hazards. Throughout the life cycle of the wind turbine, there is a risk of exposure to hazardous agents through dermal contact, ingestion, inhalation, or absorption. Maintenance activities may expose workers to hazardous substances and toxic fumes from heat or other volatile compounds, and the installation phase might also include welding tasks on the electric substations connecting the wind farm output to the grid. Exposure to harmful gases, vapors, and dust can occur during blade maintenance, including buffing and resurfacing, with greater exposure likely due to confined working conditions. These hazardous substances include epoxy resins, synthetic chemicals, and fumes from fiberglass. There is also a risk of exposure to toxic fumes from the ignition of resins and other hazardous compounds used as lubrication for wind turbine components. Wind turbine blades are manufactured from fiber-reinforced plastics using an epoxy resin system. This resin comprises approximately 36% to 42% styrene, which evaporates as an emission during the manufacturing and repair processes, posing an inhalation risk for workers in the vicinity. Styrene is a known sensitizing agent with toxic effects following chronic exposure. Evidence exists to suggest carcinogenicity in humans and styrene has been found to cause eye and upper respiratory tract irritation. The repair of blades also exposes workers to the same substances when removing old and damaged coatings, flushing surfaces, and applying and gap-filling new coatings. Noise of activities in restricted and confined areas can be excessive. Weather changes can be a work-canceling activity.